Glyphosate is the main active ingredient in Roundup, and it's the most popularly used herbicide in the world. A landmark study on glyphosate was just retracted by its publisher, raising new questions and concerns about the safety of the herbicide. Federal regulators relied heavily on this study, which was published 25 years ago, to determine that it was safe and didn't cause cancer. But the publisher now says that it appears the study might have been written by Monsanto employees. And this is the company that invented Roundup and introduced it into the market in 1974. And this is another bad piece of news for Roundup, because back in 2015, the World Health Organization's agency that studies cancer determined that glyphosate was a probable carcinogen. Since then, Roundup's manufacturer, Bayer, which bought Monsanto in 2018, has been hit by a flurry of lawsuits. They're now on the hook for more than $12 billion in legal costs from people who say it made them sick. And the retraction? It comes at an awkward time for the Trump administration, which just recently moved to help Bayer against these lawsuits. During President Trump's first term, Monsanto executives were told they, quote, need not fear any additional regulation from this administration, according to an internal email. And then Trump's solicitor general just asked the Supreme Court to consider a case that could help shield Bayer from billions more in damages. Bayer stock soared 14 percent on the news of Trump's help. Two states, North Dakota and Georgia, have already passed laws that'll help shield Bayer from further lawsuits. And there is a push to enact similar laws in other states and even on the federal level. But what's particularly interesting is that Trump's moves to help Bayer comes at the risk of alienating a big block of his supporters, the Make America Healthy Again movement. I dive into this and what it might mean for the Maha movement in my latest report on motherjones.com.